Hello everybody, this is Dr. Shrutika Kankriya from Asian Eye Hospital and I'll be discussing a topic called retinal vein occlusion with you all. So what is retinal vein occlusion? What are the symptoms? What is the treatment? Will I regain my original vision after getting an attack of retinal vein occlusion? Let's see. So you must have seen in my previous videos the structure of the eye. This is the front portion of the eye and this is the retina. And as the name suggests, retinal vein occlusion happens when this vein, the blue colored vein supplying to the retina gets blocked. Now there are two types of retinal vein occlusion, branch retinal vein occlusion and central retinal vein occlusion. The abbreviations are BRVO and CRVO. As the name suggests, if the central vein gets occluded, then it is called the central retinal vein occlusion when in that case the entire retina is affected whereas as the name suggests in branch retinal vein occlusion brvo one of the branches of the veins inside the retina gets occluded occluded means they get a block because of an embolism or thrombus so next question is what happens because of this vein occlusion Veins usually drain the impure blood from the retina and take them back to the heart. Now, if the vein gets occluded, a back pressure is created and fine capillaries in the retina burst because of which the entire retina will have hemorrhages, that is red spots all over. If it is a central retinal vein occlusion, the entire retina will have red spots as you can see in this picture. Whereas in BRBO, only the areas drained by this branch of the retinal vein will have this red spots which is called hemorrhages. Question is, what are the symptoms of the retinal vein occlusion disease? How will I know if I have suffered from this? The obvious symptom of retinal vein occlusion disease is sudden blurring of vision. Because, because of the back pressure created, an edema occurs at the macula, which is central retina, which causes sudden blurring of vision. In an ophthalmic cleaning, when a retina specialist peeps into your retina, he will see this typical picture of hemorrhages and advise a test called OCT. OCT will scan the central retina and on OCT scan, we will see retinal edema or central macular edema as seen in the picture. This macular edema can be treated. Let's see how. So the treatment of retinal vein occlusion is classically anti-VEGF treatment with intravitreal anti-VEGF injections. So the root cause of central macular edema is VEGF molecules which get elevated in this vitreous cavity after the vein occlusion. VEGF is the chief modulator for edema in the macula. So this VEGF concentration has to go down in this vitreous jelly for the edema to go down. This can be achieved by anti-VEGF injection which we inject inside the vitreous jelly. These are called intravitreal anti-VEGF injections. I have a detailed video regarding intravitreal anti-VEGF injections. You can go to the link and get details about it there. But shortly, I would like to tell you, these injections are painless injections given by a very fine needle as thin as hair. Once this injection gets into the eye, the edema regresses within a week. And maximum effect is seen up to the four weeks. After four weeks, there are chances that this edema will recur after the concentration of anti-VEGF injection in the vitreous has gone down, the edema will recur and that's the time to re-inject. The first year of the disease, several injections might be required, depends upon the severity of attack. Typically in CRVO, multiple injections are required over four to five years. Whereas in BRVO, even one injection can be sufficient if the attack is not very severe. So how many injections would be required is a sole decision made by your treating retina specialist. Are there any complications of this disease? Will I see the way I used to see before? 
depending upon how severe the attack of retinal vein occlusion is whether you will go back to your original vision or not will be decided and how soon you get the disease treated if the edema in the retina or the macular edema stays untreated unattended for a long time then obviously the vitality of the cells there is going to lose and the vision outcome is not going to be optimal on the other hand if we treat the disease within a week or two weeks of the attack then the visual prognosis is much much better are there any complications of this disease yes if the disease is left untreated new blood vessels that is new vascularization of elsewhere nve is what we call in medical terminologies start appearing in the retina then this new blood vessels which are very fragile and delicate can break open and cause vitreous hemorrhage inside the uh, vitreous jelly which can cause further sudden loss of vision or appearance of multiple black spots in front of your eyes if this nv is convert into fibrovascular proliferation proliferation which is called fvp then retinal detachment can also occur because as a complication of retinal vein occlusion so it is very important to get this disease treated in time otherwise progressive loss of vision can occur due to complications of retinal detachment especially in central retinal vein occlusion a deadly complication of new vascular glaucoma can occur patients would ask why did i get this disease how can i prevent it people typically having diabetes and blood pressure tend to develop the retinal vein occlusion disease and the only way to prevent this is control your blood pressures and diabetes mellitus without any fluctuation so all we need to remember is if there is sudden blurring of vision do not ignore it see a ophthalmologist or a retina specialist as soon as possible it could be retinal vein occlusion where timely diagnosis and treatment makes a difference if the disease is treated in time and appropriately the vision can be restored